This lesson is on vectors and for the first part we'll be looking at vector notation and being able to write column vectors, moving on to working out the magnitude of a vector and uh, the last part will be uh, being able to manipulate those vectors in calculations. A vector is a quantity that has both size and direction. Size is also uh, sometimes referred to as the magnitude. So here we've got two points, point A and point B, and we're going to be looking at the vector that joins the two points up together. So in the first part of the notation that you'll see, first type that you'll see, is it's uh, written in capital, so between the two points, traveling from A to B with the arrow telling you the direction that it, it travels in, and also on the vector you'll see an arrow that it tells you the direction of the vector. Another way that it's written will be uh, with a lowercase letter in bold uh, written next to the vector so this is vector a so a is also the same as uh, a to b and the third way you'll also see is a no, uh, again a lowercase letter this time not in bold but this time underlined and again it's written next to the vector so all three are equivalent when we're writing column vectors what we need to do is make sure we write uh, it in brackets where we've got uh, two values, one above and below. Top value tells you the horizontal distance, uh, right being positive, left is negative, and the um, second value is the vertical distance that you need to travel to get to the point. So uh, positive for up and negative for down. So in this example, we've got uh, to, we've got the vector a to b. So to Travel from A to B, and you go three squares to the right and four squares up. So my column vector is three, four. In this example, we've got these uh, four points A, B, C, D. And what we've been asked to do is work out the column vector for these uh, two questions and then work out the magnitude of the two vectors as well. So in this example, we've got vector AB. So if I go from A to B, uh, first part traveling horizontally, I need to go two squares to the right and then one square down. So when I write the vector, it'll be two squares across to the right and one down, uh, writing minus one, two minus one. For C to D, again, uh, starting from C, I need to go one, two, three, four to the left and one, two, three up. So that'll be minus four and three uh, in brackets. For the magnitude of these vectors, if we first look at A and B, point A and B, well, point A goes two squares across to the right, and then it goes one square down and uh, that's a right angle there. So if I join the two points, this is the distance. We've now got, we now have a right angle triangle. And for this right angle triangle, we can use that Pythagoras' theorem. So the, the magnitude will looks at the, uh, the distance between those two points. So if I use Pythagoras' theorem, this, the magnitude is written, uh, I've got A to B, and I'm gonna just write down the two, uh, you write down two straight lines on either side. So the magnitude of A to B is equal to two squared add minus one squared all square root to A squared plus B squared all square root two. So that gives me two squared is four plus minus one squared is one. Two plus one equals five. So of that square root of five. So I'm going to leave that answer as uh, uh, that insert form. For the second question, again, uh, from C to D, it goes uh, four squares to the left and it goes three squares up. And again, it's still uh, another right angle triangle. So for uh, this is uh, minus four and three, uh, C and D. So the magnitude of the vector from C to D is equal to uh, minus four squared plus three squared, all square rooted. So minus four squared is 16, 
plus 9, which is equal to 25, the square root of 25, so the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So the magnitude of C to D is equal to 5. For the next part of vectors, what we can do is we can add vectors. So when we're adding vectors, we can add the corresponding values, so x, the two x values together and the two y values together to get uh, the resultant vector. And again, we can also subtract, again, subtracting the corresponding x values and the y values. And we can also multiply and divide. So when we're multiplying by a number on the outside brackets, we multiply both parts with the value on the outside. Uh, so therefore we can multiply, but also we can divide. So if I've got a common factor between those uh, two terms, the two um, values there, I can factorize to take the common uh, value on, at, on the outside. In this example, we've got three vectors A, B and C, and we're asked to work out the resultant vector for these two questions. So for question one, we've got A plus C, so um, just substitute the uh, vectors in, so A is equal to 5, 3, and plus C, C is minus 1, uh, minus 4, so uh, we work out just... Uh, we can work this out by just adding the corresponding values. So then we've got 5 plus minus 1 plus and minus makes a minus. So 5 minus 1 uh, gives us 4. 3 uh, plus and minus, again, minus 3 minus 4 gives me minus 1. So my uh, answer for this uh, first part, A plus C, is equal to 4 minus 1. For the second uh, example, We've got 2b minus 3c. Again, substitute the vectors in. So that will be 2 times b. b is minus 2, 6. Minus 3 times c. c is minus 1, minus 4. So, uh, and again, well, what we're going to do first, we can expand, multiply these out. So 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, uh, 12. Minus... 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and minus 12. And again, we're going to simplify this. So then that becomes uh, minus 4, minus, minus 3. Uh, two minuses make a plus. So minus 4 plus 3, that gives us minus 1. 12 minus, minus 12. Two minuses make a plus. So 2 plus 12 is equal to 24. So the resultant vector for this is minus 1, 24. So in this next example, we've got uh, a vector of a equals minus 4, 7, and b is equal to 6, minus 1. And in the question, the question we asked to find a vector x such that 2x plus a is equal to b. To work out x, the first part, I'm going to rearrange this equation to make x the subject. So... To make x a subject, I'm going to subtract a from both sides, so that will become 2x is equal to b minus a, and then divide by 2, that gives me x is equal to b minus a times a half. So now I've got a ve uh, the vectors in terms of x. So in the next part, now I'm going to substitute uh, the vectors into the equation. So x is equal to a half of b minus a. So b is equal to 6 minus 1 and uh, minus a. a is minus 4, 7. So first part working inside the bracket, 6 minus minus 4, that becomes 6 plus 4. That gives me 10, minus 1, minus 7, that's minus 8, and I'm still uh, halving or dividing by 2, so x, so the final answer x is equal to half of each of those numbers, which will be 5, minus 4, so the x is equal to the vector 5, minus 4. The main 
task for this lesson. You've got eight vectors uh, there shown in the diagram. From those eight, I would like you to choose four. And for the four vectors, I want you to write the column vector and also to work out the magnitude. So uh, make sure you write your column vector using the brackets and the magnitude using the two parallel lines on either side, which means the magnitude of A. So that would be your example for A. So that's four questions from there. The next part of your task, you've, you've been given A, B and C, the three vectors there. And I want you to pick, I want you to choose any four of these questions and to work out the resultant vector when you substitute these into uh, these expressions. And for the last part, again, for uh, complete any four of these questions where you've been given again three vectors, A, B, C, but this time I want you to work out the missing column vector X. Once you've done that, make sure you uh, take a picture of your work and then upload that onto class charts for you to have completed the work for this lesson.